Hey guys, John here from Cooler Mods. I wanted to show you the difference between the stock front end and our fabric. Okay, um, it's a stock cooler. It's actually the one we use around the shop just when we uh, develop new products and test some things. It's missing a couple, you know, handle grip and all that. But basically, everything's intact, including the front end. It's got the stock front end on it. Now, if I grab on it and go like this, you get all this movement. It's all all the play. You know, we got cinder blocks on the coolers to simulate some weight on there. But you get all this play in the front end. That's no good. Eventually what happens is the front end bends in this direction towards the cooler and you'll start noticing when you open the lid it'll hit the throttle. Now, we do have the steering strengthener for that. Let me show you where that goes. That slips right in here. Okay? And then you have two screws that it comes with that then screw through the strengthener into the cooler, holds it in place. Now that takes out a lot of the play. I mean, obviously it's not going to hold in place because I don't got the screws in, but it won't let it go backwards. You know, it can still go forwards. The reason we don't encapsulate it is because this front end's weak. If you hit something and it was encapsulated both ways, it'll break instead of bending. So we don't do that. But straight straight there is good for what we charge. Easy fix. It does fix that. It does not fix the play entirely. Um, that will not happen without this bracketry being modified. Now what we do on the fatty here is it's attached right to the cooler in two points. It's attached to the handle and it attaches down here. Okay? Now, we'll show you the difference in play. Once again, stock. And this is a relatively tight one too. It's not, hasn't been banged around and it's loosened up after two rides like that. And here's the play. There is no play. It's actually moving pulling up the plastic part of the cooler when I pull on it. If I pull, I can lift the back of the cooler off the ground, even with the cinder block on it. This one, if I do that, I'm going to bend, bend the crap out of that bracket. Okay? Big difference. Now, let me show you a little bit of the construction of the fatty. Okay. Down here, this plate that attaches to the cooler, this is a quarter inch steel plate. Um, that's overkill for this application. It's not going to bend. It attaches at the stock mounting points and at the handle. That's why it's so strong. It's got two mounting points. No play. Going to the stock mount, it's got a slip-in bracket, and it's, it's really thin, I don't know. It's thinner than eighth inch. It's a metric material. Um, and that's why uh, the design just makes it, you know, allows it to develop play in there. As you can see as I move it right here. Hey guys, John here from Cooler Mods. A couple more things I wanted to mention about the fatty front end. First of all, it is not removable from the cooler without removing the bolts. It doesn't slide out like the stock front end. That's where the strength comes, comes from partially. Um, but you can fold the handlebars down for easy transport, which is just as good. Um, you just loosen this knob here, fold it down, the handlebars fold down that easy. Swing it up, tighten the knob back up, nice and tight, now it's back to normal. Also, we only use marine grade stainless steel hardware. All this hardware attaching the fatty. Um, same thing, on our, these are actually for our steering strength now, these uh, screws here. All stainless steel. You're paying for a top quality product. Uh, we don't mess around with this stuff. We build, we build good stuff. Uh, we test everything. We test it hard. We ride it hard for a while before we sell it. Uh, one of the reasons why we're taking so long to come out with the uh, fatty rear end conversion. We've done a couple. We really didn't like the way they turned out, so we keep playing around with it, changing the design, trying to make it as strong as possible. Uh, we will be coming out with that. Who knows? Maybe when you're watching this video, it'll already be out. Um, also, we cut all our parts on a CNC. We design everything on the computer, and then it's all cut on the computer um, through a CNC controlled machine, which means a computer controlled cutting machine. Um, this is a top quality, top quality product here. 